I'm sure they took your feelings into consideration. And yes, it sucks, but it came from up high. What, the police? The school board. What? They think your attendance could endanger the other students' safety. And from what I understand about the gallery situation, I don't completely disagree. I do. They can't punish us. It's not a punishment. Really? Being disinvited to your own prom? What would you call it? A blessing. If Charles A, whatever he calls himself, was bold enough to pull that stunt with the photos, he's not gonna be scared to crash a school party. Well, then fill the ballroom with police. It's very telltale. They become as the village idiots. You can still celebrate that night in a quiet, more intimate way. Veronica's offered to host a small gathering in the backyard barn. You're kidding me. Seriously? Why not? Because it's filled with Melissa's stuff. How is that a banquet hall? You can roll up a rug. And what? Take our prom picture on top of a washer and dryer? Hannah, you don't have a choice. If the school board doesn't want you at prom or commencement. Commencement? Wait, we were barred from that too? So now we're not gonna graduate? You will graduate. You just won't be walking across the stage to get your diploma. You'll be walking to the mailbox. Unbelievable. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I spent the past two weeks writing that stupid valedictorian speech that I didn't even want to give in the first place. Honey, the circumstances have changed since you started that speech. I know. It went from a pity toss to a humiliation hurl. Please, stop focusing on what you don't have and focus on the fact that you're here and you have four dear friends to celebrate with. That barn is not big enough for us, our dates, and our poofy dresses. You'll open a window. Wow. <laughs> is that all seafood? That looks delicious. Do you want me to run it out to the girls? Oh, God, no. This is for us. They're having nachos. <laughs> Did Spencer give you a hard time about having us here? I know Aria was not thrilled that I was going to be 30 feet from her prom. You were closer to her when you were her English teacher. What was that? Was that thunder or music? That was probably Hannah parking. Sorry. I wasn't expecting to know both the cops out front. Did that get us any insider info? Are they closer to finding him? I'm afraid that would take more than a peek on Sandy. Besides, these aren't high-ranking officers, so they wouldn't know anything. Well, as long as they stay awake for the next three hours, I am just grateful they're out there. Would anyone like a glass of Cabernet? Uh, I don't think so. Not tonight. No, I'll, I'll pass. Well, I'm not driving. You know, since it's open, I'll have one. Me too. keep this a secret for so long. Not just him, both of them. I mean, she was visiting him and letting Kenneth believe that their son was dead. I could never keep something like that from my husband. No, oh, please. You can't compare yourself to that family. Lying is like oxygen to them. I mean, Jason didn't even know that he wasn't Kenneth's. Oh, gosh, I spilled. Not enough. 